Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great week. I want to start off by saying something that I think has become very obvious to you um, in my time here. I believe that the fundamental truth of our faith is found in our actions, meaning that God's gift was freely given to us. We don't deserve it. There is no price. There is nothing we can do to earn it. It is simply that, a free gift from God. And we show the world that we have accepted freely this gift, not by going around shouting from the, ha- uh, from the rooftops, but by simple actions. And today I want to read a couple of verses from Galatians chapter 5. Verses 25 and 26. If we live by the Spirit, let's follow the Spirit. Let's not become arrogant, make each other angry, or be jealous of each other. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Paul was very clear in how he felt like our societies, our new Christian societies, should live with one another and the world in general. That we had certain standards that we lived by, not because we were being constrained, but because our encounter with God in this radical free gift that was given changed us. I'm going to tell you that I know of many people that profess faith in Christ, but act nothing like it. There was a change, maybe. If there was, where's the proof? Now, I'm not saying I should be a judge, nor you should be a judge of other people. But I simply say that your actions must back up your words. If you are a believer in Christ, live like it. Don't worry or don't show the world one side and live the other. My biggest fear would be someone come into my house not knowing who I was, and then all of a sudden showing up to church on Sunday morning and seeing me in the pulpit and go, wait a minute, who is that person? Because he sure didn't act like that pastor yesterday. God forbid. Now, I'm not saying we can't have fun and be in fellowship with each other and laugh with one another. But there is some joy, some way of being that flows out of us having accepted this gracious gift from God. May you find ways that God fills you in your life. May you explore why you worship, why you say you're a believer. And may the actions that you show and demonstrate in the world help reinforce the assurity that you are beloved, a beloved child of the Most High God. Have a phenomenal rest of your week. I look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday morning. Be blessed. Treat each other with kindness. And as I tell the kids every school day up here at the church, y'all have a good day and don't hit anyone, okay? Blessings to you.